ever LPS vlog and well now that LPS me five include I can book on the next more full time. So there we go. We have the tiniest animal store written by a guy who so I joked last week that the title's kinda like the Vietnam Creole version and I was half right in the terms of it being a discount version. Basically this big shot producer Dick Von Pack comes to the pet shop and gets the idea to turn Blythe's life into a TV show to make a TV show about a girl who talks to pets, which is called Tiny Animal Store. Um, and basically, the whole episode of them trying to make the show and getting actors to play the character and yada yada yada. So, this stick I have seen in another show where they could show, if we like did it, for example, to make a show based off the character of Blythe and the corporate joke about the actor and them not liking him or whatever. And that's what the cat put in. But it's still done pretty well because the parody element and the way they lobby each other when they do it, they do it to make fun of the, the Hollywood system or the way they make television shows. And this one, I can do a few of them. Again, it, it's interesting. What I do love is that the end of the episode of the show is shot down because of the too ridiculous, and yet we have Dog for Blog. And those guys have heard about Bob Thornberry, another show about girls talking to you know, animals a lot. Whatever, man, universe. Um, and then you got look, one part comprised uh, me. Wug at one point when he can go dumb rate, dumb waiter, he called it a classic sitcom trope using the specific word trope. Which I've heard that sort of phrase used in like web show and whatever, but not an official dumb show made by you know real people. Like, that would not really surprise me. It's a common phrase, but it's popular recently because of you know what. So. That was interesting, but, um, so yeah, uh, video is kind of a typical stick of them not liking the actor and giving the wrong actors and whatever, and they do good joke that, including what the show ended up becoming, and of course it's completely ridiculous, and it's, it's pretty good. Um, and there's some part where, because of the communication, probably thinks they make a reality show, and she has to be all... Um, Wonderful for the camera, for the non the camera on Twitter for Kevin, which isn't that funny and doesn't really go anywhere, but it, again, probably trying to be all fabulous. And, um, um, and some of the stuff with, you know, like, and stuff with the pets, I mean, they're acting and, and money, uh, uh it's, I'm going to check off on my opinion, commercial success, what they're doing with that, but it's going to put it on the development process, when the shooting process, like that, it's good. Um, so, yeah, oh, and, we're free to make sure it bl but they do not think, hey, let's get your dad to go okay to make a show, like, more like about you. Um, don't, he doesn't know about anything about it, he just sort of gets that idea. Um, we can... <laughs> um, but yeah, she, Roger does have a cameo, and it's the best joke in the episode, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it's great. But when he popped up, I'm like, hey, shouldn't they be asking for permission or something? But, you know, like, you know, I suppose. But I got a whole lot to care about with that episode, because that is what, is mostly, you know, shake. You, you, again, if you're sick of this kind of, if you've seen this before, and you might just think of doing too new, but because of this specific show and what they use, it becomes funny to a parody element. And a lot of jokes. And there is a song, and it's the theme song to a tiny panel store. And it's wonderful, wonderfully ridiculous. It didn't hit me that technically a real song to I got the credits. Uh, they do look like it They started the LP King of Free, then putting a song in the credits, when well, you know the proper name of the song, and blah blah blah. And the LP kind of at the beginning. Um, and that's how you know what counts as a real song. If Blah filming that. You know how in What Me Mori they had that song playing on the laptop? You know, you barely even hear it, the song that fire, but get to do a thing. That counts for real song for the credits. But, um, I gave a discount for the Friday song. That's what I should have called it, but oh well. Um, you have a song that they for the quantum. Um, okay, but, uh, actually, one of the questions is that we are coming up to again, roughly. And they appeared in one episode. Huh. Because with the previous game, especially the last two, they, even if they appeared a ton by this point, they made a couple notable appearances. Here's one. 
I like that. They're actually listening to a complaint from dying them down significantly. So, which is weird. But, uh, may, maybe they'll pop up in like, like five episodes. I don't know. Actually, I want to talk about that stuff. I just got to. But anyway, but back to talking about the episode in general. Yeah. It's the typical, but it is funny. Because, uh, you know, and stuff. Um, and in the end, I don't know if it's going to carry over, but I've. The costume after a show came by the guy who wants to give her some sort of internship, and she accepts that. I do wonder if that can carry over, but that's kind of important. And I'll be like in whiskey to the more odds of her going up. Um. Okay. Mm, you know, you know, but it would be interesting, so that interesting development. So, overall, yeah, it's a pretty good one. Again, I like. I do like this chick. You you way funny to make fun of the Hollywood consumption and whatever. You know. Mako kind of like a show or movie guy that can talk about the code. And the mobile app with CGI. It's that thing. But see, I'm rambling and covering a whole lot. Okay, not a ton of development or anything like that. There's no moral or anything. It's just funny. Um, you know, which is good. I like OP if are not. They can't, they don't, they, they have kind of getting a more, they're not the goal, they just put it in whenever I can. They try to, but they come up, go, they can go, yeah, we don't need a little, so go, go, we can t- tell a story. Go, where would I rank this thing up to? Maybe a little bit below Game of Thrones, go, be like, four legs so far, a couple of those. Uh, the top is the premiere, then the Halloween one, um, then it's Game of Thrones, uh, go, that's fair. Probably put this uh, game of the. It's roughly the that one, but that one will be a little more interesting. Uh, but this one got a pretty funny. Um, so, you know, uh, yeah, Jeff and Roger can't even put it above that because that can go. I'm, 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 I'm eating something, so I, I was thinking, mm-hmm. yeah, so I thank God I had my mouth open because I had really hard. So, there you go, very cool tiny camel store. Not quite the only way, but. You know, good scallop, go with some good shit games and like some weird parts, I suppose. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Next week is Spend Thrifty. Uh, we know that's not good for the next few, but I don't remember them a lot. So, yeah, I think that's about it. I suppose I'll see you for Spend Thrifty. Goodbye.